Good morning, I'm Luke Farrell with the uh, town of Kiowa. I'm a council person and I'm here this morning with Lauren Rust of the Low Country Marine Mammal Network. And we're here to talk about one unique aspect of South Carolina and of dolphins and it's called strand feeding. Lauren, you wanna introduce what strand feeding is? Yeah, so strand feeding is this very unique feeding behavior that dolphins do here locally. Uh, so basically what they do is they corral fish close to the bank and then as a group they sort of coordinate and they rush the beach all at the same time and the idea is that creates a tidal wave and it pushes the fish ahead of them. So then the animals strand always on their right side um, with the fish ahead of them, grab the fish, retreat back to the water and then eat it. Now is this something that happens all over the world or is this something that's more unique to South Carolina? It's, it's absolutely unique. Um, we, do, we do see it, at least it's been reported, fewer than 10 places in the world, um, which still makes it unique because dolphins are one of the most abundant marine mammals across the world. So the fact that only 10 small populations do it makes it very unique. And does it happen anytime during the day or night or when does it happen? So it mostly happens at a lower tide. Um, we typically see it, you know, two hours before to two hours after low tide. That could be any, either low tide of the day. And the reason that is, um, so one, there's more fish in less water when the, when the tide is lower. But the lower tide also presents these really nice sloped banks, which the dolphins prefer because gravity helps them get back into the water. Is this a natural behavior or is this a learned behavior? Or how do they know how to do this? So we believe that it's a learned behavior, that it's taught from mom to calf. Most feeding behaviors are because dolphins um, keep their calves for up to five years. So teaching them how to hunt, um, you know, for protection, all of those things. So any behavior that mom's gonna do, she's gonna teach it to her young. Um, but because this is so specialized, uh, it is believed to be passed down from mom to calf. And we're here today on Kiowa Island at the end of what's called Captain Sam Spit. Um, does it happen just here? Does it happen up in the tributaries of the Kiowa River as well? So both, um, and we see it all throughout South Carolina. Really though, we see it in areas where um, the water can be shallow, there's nice slopier banks, um, but they will do it in the rivers. They sometimes do it on oyster beds, so on more of the mud flats. Um, but based on our you know, record and data, that they tend to do it here um, at Captain Sam's the most. So we have seen strand feeding from a single dolphin up to seven dolphins and possibly more. But um, in this area at Captain Sam's, we typically see about three or four dolphins do it together. Um, it's the same group, so we see about the same six or seven dolphins every day. This is just their home range or their fishing hole. Um, and so they, they come in, they work in groups. Sometimes it's two of them, three of them, four or five of them. Um, just kind of depends on the day. Um, and the way that we know that is we identify these animals through their dorsal fin. So that big fin that comes up every time they surface to breathe is called their dorsal fin. Um, and it gets unique marks um, as they age, just like we get scars. So dolphins are federally protected. Um, so that just puts regulations into what people can do or not do with them. So it is illegal to feed them and to harass them. And harassment can be swimming with them, trying to touch them, or even just disturbing their behavior. So um, if you do come out and you see any you know, wild dolphins, we just encourage you to give them lots of space. Don't feed you know, any bait or fish or cereal. Um, and then definitely try to be quiet and just let them do their thing and view them from a distance. Dolphins are what we call conscious breathers. They choose when to take a breath versus us, um, we fall asleep and we still breathe, um, where if dolphins fell asleep, they would stop breathing. So um, in order to um, deal with that, when they nap or sleep, they will shut off half of their brain to rest, um, but the other half will be aware, and that way they um, are still aware enough to breathe, and then they're aware enough for predators. Um, so they'll sort of take a 30-minute cat nap, and then later on, they'll rest the other half of their brain. It's pretty cool. Well, again, I'd like to thank Lauren Rust of the Low Country Marine Mammal Network for today coming out to the end of Captain Sam Spit on Keel Island and helping us understand more about dolphins, the different types of dolphins there are, and what strand feeding actually is. Lauren, thank you very much. Thank you.